Good evening, I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Rain and snow mix take aim across Metro Detroit. 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor in the Weather Center. Mike. We're going to be dealing with more rain and also some snow for tonight. Temps down to around 34, so even though we're above freezing, be aware of some of those slick spots out there for your Monday morning commute. May even have some snow accumulating on the lawns as well as the cars. High temp 52 will need some afternoon clearing to get there. Winds are going to stay breezy into the afternoon. Multiple chances of rain are going to be with us from Tuesday going all the way into Saturday. Temps are going to feel like spring, but be sure to keep the umbrella handy. You're going to need it just about all of next week. All right, thank you. We're learning more about a fiery car crash in Sterling Heights. Police say a red Jeep and a silver BMW collided at 18 Mile Road and Ryan last night. One person was killed. Four teenagers inside the BMW were injured, but they are expected to recover. A fire on the Canadian side of the Detroit River is under control after burning for hours. A marsh fire broke out last night on Fighting Island. That's across the river from E Course and Wyandotte. The fire started on the northeast end of the island and the winds caused it to move south. Fortunately, no one was hurt and no buildings were damaged. A Grand Rapids man who was paralyzed from the waist down in a motorcycle accident isn't giving up on his dreams. 28 year old Matthew Chafee will race in the Boston Marathon tomorrow. After the marathon, he's not done yet. Matthew will be training for the 2020 Paralympics. Well, those are your headlines. Remember, you can always go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. I'm Brian Abel. Have a great night.